Has it suddenly turned pink? Surely some of you have asked this question. The Rears Rebel is a quite popular ABDL diaper, but you see it mainly in black. So a white diaper, on which black skulls are printed. I have already made a complete practical test to her in the summer of 2022. Above right you will find the video, if you have not seen it yet. Although this black and white rebel might be the most famous, it also comes in pink. I was amazed at this myself, because I've seen the black one more often in stores and pictures, but the pink one hardly ever. I therefore bought it and looked at it more closely. And I compared them with the black one. We now look at the results together in this video. The first thing that stands out is that the pink rebel is still listed in the manufacturer store without restriction. I had already informed you about the black one a while ago via short that Rears had discontinued it at the turn of the year from 2022 to 2023. Before that, it was produced once again, but since then the dealers only sell the stocks. Once these are used up, there is no more replenishment. Therefore, some stores have not even listed it anymore and have taken the Black Rebel out of their assortment after the remaining stocks have been sold off. Occasionally you can still find some, partly abroad and at much higher prices than they were usual just a few months ago. In the manufacturer store, both are still available as of this video. The Black Rebel, however, has the words, discontinued, in the title, and the short description below it also indicates that it is no longer in production. The Pink Rebel, on the other hand, has no such notice. The announcement from the manufacturer at the time didn't mention a color, but did show a picture of the black one. So it looks very much like the pink one will continue to be produced. In contrast, the black one continues to slowly disappear from the stores. In a few weeks or months, it should be sold out everywhere and will then only be a part of the ABDL story. If you compare the two variants of the Rebel with each other, the classic black immediately looks much stronger and richer in contrast. This is not only because black color comes out particularly well on a white background. This is also true for other colors. Obviously, the pink rebel was printed with significantly less coverage, or in other words, they probably wanted to save on ink, since printing with strong colors naturally costs more ink and thus money. This is quite new, at least among ABDL diapers. In the ones I've tested so far, a lot of emphasis is placed on design as well as quality. The manufacturers know that many people buy these diapers mainly because of the comfort and absorbency. But the appearance is for some also a point, which plays for some at least with purely, for others is even decisive for whether a diaper is bought or not. Now that a decent print quality has become the standard, this industry can obviously hardly afford to let the motifs appear pale and thus rather boring. The situation is different at Pampers, where this cost-saving measure seems to have been discovered some time ago. However, they have a different target group. Parents primarily want the diaper to be comfortable for the child and to keep a good seal. Many like to include colorful imprints as an extra. More important to them than that, however, is that the diaper works in everyday use and doesn't leak. My impression is that the Pink Rebel is in any case somewhat inferior in quality in this respect than is known from the classic black. In comparison with the other diapers from my test you can make your own picture. I think that you can see here in many examples well, how the pink rebel a good deal paler than other diapers. Even if you look at those that also rely on a pink tone as the main color. I find this a missed opportunity, especially with the foil diapers, bold colors work especially well there. Now looks are important, but as I mentioned before, not everything. Therefore, I have also subjected the pink rebel to the practical test. The outer material is similar to the black one. Both have a smoother and slightly thicker feeling film, which I find pleasant. It also makes the diaper more robust, since a thinner film naturally gets a hole more easily if the button of the pants, a belt buckle or something else should press against it in everyday life. The adhesives are also made of reusable plastic. In the everyday test, the fit is comfortable. The diaper is not quite as thick as a critter caboose or generally the thickest and most absorbent diapers. You still feel well wrapped up, though. After all, if you're on the go, that has its advantages. I would see them in the upper midfield. Significantly more material than with a Tina slip you have in any case around you, which is also noticeable in the better suction performance. I could not detect any differences to the Black Rebel that go beyond normal tolerances. That depends on many factors, 
how well the diaper fits, in which position you wet, where it flows and so on. That's why I don't just test one diaper, but always several and evaluate the best result. Finally, the test confirmed what I suspected. The manufacturer took the same diaper for both variants, which only differ in pressure. It doesn't happen that often that a diaper appears in several colors. But with the ones I've had in the test so far, that's usually when they took the same diaper, like the crinkles, which now has five different designs. There is also a video of me, in which I show them all. What I found surprising, however, were the differences in coverage. This is not known from other diapers. If you buy a Crinkles Astronaut, for example, the quality of the prints there is no better or worse than with the Aquanaut. Personally, I like the Black Rebel better. I could well imagine it looking good in pink with bolder colors too, but the way it was implemented, I don't like it. What do you guys think? Post it in the comments if you like. Stay dry until the next video.